Hello everybody, my name is Erlanga Yusuf, I'm a clinical microbiologist and I'm one of the authors of this paper regarding a diagnosis and management of deep sternal wound infection. Deep sternal wound infection is also known as post sternotomy mediastinitis. Sternotomy is a procedure that is often performed for cardiac surgery. The bacteria that cause deep sternal wound infection spread contagiously from adjacent tissue or hematogenously. Deep sternal wound infection can be serious and fatal. The incidence of deep sternal wound infection is estimated at 0.5 to 2 percent. Several risk factors have been shown to be associated with deep sternal wound infection. Patient associated risk factors such as older age, obesity, smoking, and the presence of comorbidities such as diabetes mellitus. Chronic infections such as HIV and hepatitis B are also associated with deep sternal wound infection next to surgery associated risk factors. The diagnosis of deep sternal wound infection is often difficult. Like in making diagnosis of other diseases, the combination of sign and symptoms, laboratory and radiology findings are needed. Among the signs and symptoms of deep sternal wound infections are fever, chest pain, sternal instability, purulent discharge from medicinal area, cellulitis, and wound dehiscence. Further in the manuscript, we will discuss the microbiology of deep sternal wound infection. Only in 60% of the cultures obtained from subjugal department will be positive and in more than 90 percent of the positive tissue cultures are monomicrobial it is important to know that positive blood culture is also found in a bit more than the half of the cases lastly in the paper we will discuss the management of deep sternal wound infection we will emphasize the importance of multidisciplinary approach between clinical microbiologists, ID specialists, and surgeons. We will discuss shortly about surgical options and antimicrobial prophylaxis, and we will end up with uh, discussing antimicrobial treatment, empiric therapy, and tar targeted therapy.